I'm at the peak of my career, and boom, that happened. It was a miscarriage. I lost my baby mom. I lost my day one, my left hand to the feds, my right hand to the streets. It's, I'm talking about back to back. Angie Martinez in Real Life Podcast. This episode and conversation is powered by Duce. Money bag, yo, everybody. Hey, back outside. Let's go, let's go. Back outside. What's up, What's love? Up? How you been? I'm good. I feel good. Good. It's been, mm, how long has it been since you put music? Like two years? A little uh, over two years? Look, mm, a little over two years. Mm-hmm. A little, little over two years. A lot I'm ready, been. though. I'm ready to. I'm ready to get back in the mode. You know, I was just, I was dealing with a lot of personal problems and going through stuff, so mm -hmm. it affected my whole process. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's hard when you like, when you have real life going on and then you have yeah. lots of people that depend on you. Exactly, exactly. To so. get back to work. Yep. So before we talk about what the past two years been like, we should just, cause I'm not gonna assume that everybody knows your story and your history or whatever, but mm -hmm. maybe just take us to like, Walker Homes, take you to South yeah, Memphis. Yeah, um, tell me that. I had never been to Memphis, so tell just, me like I got a restaurant you... in Memphis now, so now you got a reason. I come. heard. Yeah, that exactly. is a reason enough. Exactly. I'm so in. uh I come from South Memphis, Walker Homes. Uh, of course the typical were hard, trying to make it out up and down. Uh we ain't have too much. Um I mean I did the the normal stuff what everybody else do, call, you know, you know what the street trying to stuff. get out, trying to yeah, get trying money. Trying to get out, trying to get money. Um, and I mean, I just, I had developed a passion for music, like being around a group of uh, uh, dudes I was, I used to hang with and I used to see them like do it and they was getting money off. I'm like, when I seen them get 2,000, 15, 2,000, 2,500 for a show, I'm like, I can do this too. Mm -hmm. And it's legal, like this, le they legally yeah, giving you this. no penitentiary chances. You me, but, like, yeah, you can take yeah. penitentiary chances. So mm -hmm. I, I just, I got into it and then. It started there. It started from 500, my first show, and it just got to growing, jumping 2,500 and 15,000. Like, it's got crazy. So, you made a good choice. Yeah, I made a great choice. <laughs> and that, that's how I figured out it was for me. But tell me about that that place in Memphis, because um, I've never been there. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know what it feels like. I don't what know. Like, where you grew up? It's a, it's a neighborhood. It's, yeah. of course, treacherous. There's trenches for sure. Like, you might get robbed in the day. You might come out of the house. You might, you got to worry about somebody close to you, snaking you, setting you up. You getting this type of money. You can't let this person see too much. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That might, that might cost you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got, you got, I'm going to just get dirty or get raw with it. Or you might, um, you might have a baby with this girl. She got a baby with somebody with the other. You know what I'm saying? Or dude over her, two streets over her from you. It's, it's, it's yeah. It's like that. It's one everybody knows everybody. It's like everybody small, right? Everybody knows everybody. It's mm -hmm. small. It's right there. Like. And where are your parents? You know, my mom was in in Walker Homes. We was in Walker Homes. Mm -hmm. Uh, I ran away a lot. You know what I'm saying? I ran away. What do you mean? Where'd you go? I ran away a lot because I wanted to be. Like, I feel like being around like. My mama, she was having me too. It was too girlified over there. It was too. It was too. Just single mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was too many girls, too many girls in the house and stuff. You feel you me? Yeah, so, sisters. Yeah, I got mm -hmm. two sisters and um, on my mama's side. Uh, but it was like it was too, too girls in my house. My aunties and just different people. It's just too much going on. So my daddy, he was really in the streets with it. So I just used to always run away, go over there with his mama, like mm -hmm. and and my uncles and. And just that's how I got just influenced and jumped off the porch, like. And what was your father saying about all of that? What was he doing around? He that was time? pimping, like. Uh, <laughs> he was, you know, Memphis known for that. Uh, uh -huh. So he was pimping, and uh, he was selling, you know, just in the streets too, taking penitentiary chances. But what does that do to a young, like you as a young boy? All I'm them thinking it's the way to go, like, um, uh, like when when you see it, like at that. At age, what age? What age are we talking about? We talking about. 15, we talking about 14, 15, 16, your mind like a sponge at this point. It's mm -hmm. like, your mind is a sponge, you seeing this, you absorbing like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Or this mm -hmm. like, this is the way to go, my dad is doing to get money. Shit, I can do it, I might can even do it better. I might can really be successful at it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I was looking at Did it. Did he have any say in that or, or any feedback? Nah, he, on? I, I, I think like for a minute he enjoyed it. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like you made him proud? <laughs> <laughs> you know how dysfunctional and wild that is? Yeah, for sure, but it's just like a product where we come from. <laughs> I think like- He was he, like, he that's my baby boy. <laughs> exactly, like. He kind of enjoyed it, you know what I'm saying? But he, <laughs> he did tell me a lot of like real stuff and a lot of wa right ways to go to though. So you did uh, have both your parents in your life? No, nah, like I ain't really had him in my life like that. Um, But the times I did spend with him, he put me down and I learned from it. I looked out, 
observed. I watch stuff, you know what I'm saying? Very, very observable. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I just paid attention and picked up off of it. Mm-hmm. So that's why I still like got them memories in my head now. Like, Isn't that crazy now that you're a father? Yeah, I'm a father. So when you think about your child being 15 years old. It scared me. What do you mean? It scared me because I know how I was and I, I know what I saw. Like I know what I saw other, like I got daughters, like I got, it's four and four. So it's like, I'm thinking like I got four daughters. Like, damn, I seen the worst the girls did. And these four different t- type of personalities. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't do nothing but pray, like really. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Can't do nothing but pray because the world we live in is so crazy. And it's like, and you can't stress over nothing you can't control. It's like. Yeah. But how do you, how do you know how, to, you have eight kids, right? Yeah. How do you know how to father eight kids when your father wasn't really like I mean, there? I feel like, like the who street, taught you? The streets. I feel mm-hmm. like the streets because and just like me want better for myself and me like if I ever had kids, I don't want to feel, I don't want them to feel that. Mm-hmm. I don't want them to feel what I felt. You know what I'm saying? Like just feeling left out when you see other people with their dad or it's, it's the it's the daddy and and. And like, you know, when you invite your parents to the school and all them type of activities. Isn't that and, crazy how it really, that shit really, like the school things. Yeah, and yeah, the, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, and that, I remember it, that too, being a kid, the same sex, thing. And it affected me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It affected me. What's I'm crazy like, is that it's not your father um, selling drugs or pimping or anything like that, that it was that he wasn't at the school thing. Yeah, like stuff you know like just I mean? being, kid, being there like. As like, a kid, that's exa- crazy what sticks the most. Like, like not like, telling me happy birthday, like, you mm. feel me? Like, like it'd be my birthday, he like. And this one, this one, like I started, I created motion. Like I had created motion. What's that? Like motion mean like you 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 get you got it going. Like okay. you hustle, oh, you got you, movement. your hustle, your hustle turning on yeah, moving. Movement. I'm yeah, moving yeah. right now. You feel me? So uh, I created. You been in the streets? Yeah, yeah. No, just pe- like we're out. Like when oh, I rap, my rap, first rap. year, like when the city got on me, the trash states and all them people, the chicken yeah. circus. So uh, he reached out. He was like, "Yo, what's up, what's up?" And then he go to asking for stuff like. But it was my birthday. Like, is that the first time he came around when you started popping? No, nah, I wasn't the first time he came around. Like, I had seen him a couple times, been seeing him off and on. You know, every blue moon, yeah, stuff like that, and then boom, you know. Mm. But it was just at that time, it was my. I can't forget. We were going back to saying like what stuck to me. Like, mm-hmm. I couldn't forget moments. Like, I can't forget moments like that. Mm-hmm. And I don't never want my kids to. You know what I'm saying? So I try to stay on point with all their birthdays. Like, like I, I started <laughs> That's off. That's eight birthdays. That's Exactly. Tough. I started That's off like, the, <laughs> like two or three I know by heart. And I just had to learn it like and put in, put it in my notes. Like because mm-hmm. this is something I really care about. So I got to take. Yeah. You feel me? You have it in your like calendar and your Yeah, I got my calendar, my That's notes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Whatever just, it takes. Yeah, whatever it takes to stay sharp mm-hmm. with. Make them happy. So, yeah. Trust me. I have only two. I have one and a stepson. I have two boys. Yeah. And it's hard to just juggle that. Exactly. I can't even right. imagine eight. And yeah. then you got eight with different, you co-parenting and you, right? Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. situations. Yeah, it was five. It was five baby mamas. Now it's four. Oh, I know. I'm sorry about You know that. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. How's that? Uh, it's a tough situation. Uh, you know, I got, I had three, three kids by her. Mm-hmm. This I is got, your first baby mother? Yeah, my first baby mother. I got three kids by her. Um, her I got Shanina. Shanina. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's like uh. I took, I got full custody of my kids, you know what I'm saying? They stay in the house with me. I'm sure I'm getting them adjusted to this lifestyle, this different life, mm. you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, it's, it's hard. I, I really be, I, I see like, what type of sacrifices you, you gotta make. Like, yeah, it's different what kind of sacrifices house. you gotta make. And it's like three, like, no, you talking about an artist like hot as me, like I'm at the peak of my career and boom, that happened. So what happened? You you were, um. Was this your first? This was your first baby mother, right? Yeah, for, were you yeah. together a long time? Like, was this like a? Like, mm, you had I'll to say, be. You had three kids. That's yeah. a significant amount of time. Yeah, no, nah, but no, nah, they want they want like that. You know, I was in the streets with it, so uh, you know, as so I was in the streets with it, so I, it was in between uh, other situations. You know, when I called myself done, yeah, I ended up going. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. but, but you, you kept going back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 it was that type of situation. It was something good. It was something good. It was. Yeah. There must have been some love or something yeah, there. The love was there for sure. Yeah. So then, how did you? Is it okay if I ask how yeah, you, how you, you lost ahead. her? Uh, it's the streets. You know, she she was in the streets. Like I said, she come from walking homes too. Just told you how treacherous that was. Uh, she was murdered. You know what I'm saying? She was killed. She was murdered. I'm so sorry. Yeah, by somebody that she was with. And um, you know, it, it, it was shocking. Like I was in Atlanta and I was recording. I was working on the. 
the tape. And um, they just called me like, you know, Shania, she had, like they're saying, Shania, uh, she had a room, she dead, blah, 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 she left, she, she left at the room. I can get deep on, I ain't gonna get as deep as I, as I can, but that's like the picture right there. You was know what I'm like saying? It scarred my instantly broke, I couldn't believe. Like first I was, I feel like I was more mad at her than anything. Like mm-hmm. I was more mad at her, I was like, how you let this, like, you feel me? Like how you let this happen, how you let your kids? And it was so crazy, cause when I, when I talked to my daughter, she was just telling me like, I told my mom, we was at the airport, I told my mama not to go. Well, they was in the, the airport in Miami, mm-hmm. going back to Memphis, you feel me? So she was just like, I told my mama, I didn't feel right, we didn't need to go. And when I, when she, when this I- This happened in Memphis or in Miami? Her getting murdered, she, that happened in Memphis. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, so my daughter, like when I, it was crazy, like, cause I had called my daughter, I was like, where you with? I had already got the news, like this when I'm broke down, I'm like, damn, I don't feel like, I don't finna tell like I don't, what I'm finna say. So I end up let the steam off. I um, you know, cry, whatever, cry baby. Uh got on the phone. Did call, you say cry baby? Yeah, get one cry baby. You, you know it's okay to cry <laughs> no, 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 when no, you're no, in the no, middle no, no. of serious, serious trauma. Serious, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you fact. know what I'm saying? I called my daughter and I was just like, What you doing? Where y'all at? Like that. And she was just like, It happened. That's exactly what she said. She, she had like, heard already. Because her mom was supposed to been with her like that night she posed the came back and get, she ain't never come back. You know what I'm saying? So she was like, it happened. No, tell me it didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? It's She's just, 13? Yeah, she 14 now. Oh my Her God. birthday was in um in March, March 19th. But this is just so, a year ago. This is still kind of fresh then. Yeah, no, it's real fresh. Like, it's super fresh. And you know? I just didn't know how to do it. Like, man, I was like, my mama finna come get y'all. That's all I can say. I was in the A. I'm like, man, my mama finna come get y'all. And boom. Are you in shock? You might you have to be like in no, shock. No, most definitely in shock. Like it's 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 hard to talk about right now, but I'm strong with man, you know what I'm saying? I'm dealing with it and I'm getting through it, you know. And how and how are your kids dealing with it? Cuz it's three of her three children, right? Yeah. Like my uh my daughter like the oldest one, you know, she understand more. She understand more than the other ones, so she taking it way harder. Like she walked up to me like before I left like Dad, I just want to talk to you. I'm talking to her. She like, I don't want to do therapy. I need therapy. Like she, she aware enough to say that. Like you know, God bless. like I, I, I want to do therapy. I want to get. I just be so sad, and I'm just always in the room. Cause she always just in her room. Like I had to make her do stuff. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I had to make her just get up and get about her day. Like come on, Demai, let's do this, do this. You know, it took a minute, but now she, she, she opening up. She doing it. Thank God you have a relationship where she can say that to you. No, for sure. You know? And I just always, you know, just try to keep it, just daddy love you, this and that, just always text her, just encourage and stuff, you know. That's tough, B. It's, tough. it's a tough situation. So the three kids, are, you have full custody now, right? They, they yeah. live with you? Yeah. yeah they didn't sure. before. It was like joint. And... Yeah, you know how it be. Yeah, yeah. Just, when you have a baby, you know, and we ain't taking, she ain't never take me to court. She actually, like, was, like, one of my baby moms like, never gave me problems. Like, she mm-hmm. never gave me problems, like. And when she and we did argue, it was probably my fault. Mm. You see, you see what I'm saying? Do you have any regrets about that? Maybe. Yeah, mm. I stay. I'd be like, man, I wish I would have. Man, I wish I would have picked up the phone. She called me before it happened. Mm. Like, I'm like, man, I wish I would have picked up the phone. You know, maybe I could have said something, made her not go get on the plane. Like, I was thinking like that. To not go back home. Like my daughter was telling me, she was rushing to Memphis. Like, they had missed two, three flights. She, she didn't want to turn around, go back to the house, or nothing in, in Miami that I got for him. And she just was like, no, I'm going, we going, you going. She was like, I just want to go back. Let me go back with my daddy. This is my daughter telling her. But she like, no, you ain't going, but you coming with me. You coming with me, we coming right back. But she was going to like get all their stuff to transfer them to the schools out there. So even in the hotel, they found the stack of papers, all the papers, you know what I'm saying? She like, was trying to change her life and her yeah, children's Yeah, she, she told me, she like, she put like, like even when I was having like little dreams and you know, like when you, you feel like they, they come to you in your sleep and stuff like that, she was just telling me it was my last time. Like, yo, my last time, I was gonna be, it was just one more time I posed the came back. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's oh, just fucking That's with tough. Me. Your kids uh, probably do need therapy, right? At some point, no, is that sure. something you're gonna? For sure, my mom even be telling me too. Yeah. But man, she was about to, so you bought them a house. They were supposed to move to Miami. Yeah. Yeah. God bless. How are you doing? I mean, it's a, you know, it's a tough situation. I'm just staying strong. I'm just I'm just happy to have like 
a great support system. Mm -hmm. The support system that I got and just keep me motivated, like my girl, my mama, you know what I'm saying, just friends, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, friends of the family. Yeah, because trauma like that and and, and um, sometimes that people can't get up from that. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's still, it's, it's super hard, Like, but I just like, that's why I say I'm in the strong phase. That's why I feel like I want to come back out, I'm talking now, mm -hmm. like I'm speaking. At first I couldn't talk, I couldn't even, I couldn't even do this right now. I couldn't, even, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Couldn't even get worried. I can't so. believe you're doing it now. I'm gonna be yeah. honest with you. It, you probably yeah. can hear them. Like, you probably don't know if you can hear it in my voice a little bit. It's trembling a little bit, but I feel like I could tremble for you. Like, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? No, it, I, it is. What it, yeah, a it's year different. is not. It's still, you know what I mean? Not that long. And not only are you dealing with your own trauma, but you're dealing with your kids' trauma and trying to Amen. save them and protect them. Because the other two are how old? Eleven and nine. Eleven and nine. Oh, so they old enough that yeah. they had relationship with her. Yeah, for sure. And as and if you don't want to talk about this, it's okay. But I'm, I know people probably would wonder. It's like, has there been any arrests or any? Oh uh, yeah, any, yeah, yeah. It's just somebody happened. was arrested. Yeah, it was just just a re like this crazy like before Mother's Day, before Mother's Day. Um, for actual murder? Yeah, for, yeah. My mama, uh, I mean her mama called me and told me that they had got him or something like that. I don't really know the full detail. I don't even know him like that. I don't know nothing about it. Like yeah. they never try to know him or nothing. I'm just going off. What they sent, what they, what her mom was, what I was told. I know you say you have a good support system, but like grief and like trauma and all of that stuff. Like, how do you, is it music? Like, how are you like, uh, uh how I are you it, pulling yourself back up? Cause you're saying now you're starting you to know feel you, strong. Like you said, like you gotta let it out, you gotta cry. I didn't cry in the shower, like, cry in the shower, like, you know, let it out, let the steam out, feel good about it after that, record songs, try to stay busy as possible. You know what I'm saying, and, and, and really just stay focused. And but just looking at my kids, it just be like it's hard. That would make it harder. Like looking at my kids, mm -hmm. looking at my kids make it way worse. Like of course, because now you got to be a father. Yeah. On top of that, yeah. and you got to save them and protect them and do all of that stuff. How are you doing that? Like what? Like uh, how are you parenting? How are you being a dad? Like uh, I wanna, you how know, are you managing that? I'm, I don't know. I'm just, I, I can't even explain it for real. I just I'm just doing it. Like I'm real deal. Just going with the, going with the flow. We all trying to get better. We all trying to heal. You know what I'm saying? I uh, I take prayer seriously. I take my religion seriously. And it's just like I just be on my knees. Like you know. What do you pray for? A lot of everything. Like everything that like and like I go back to like when I first took my shahada and I got and I became Muslim. I don't know if that's the reason because who I am now, me fasting and me taking God as serious as I did, that's when my my career took off. It's like when I ain't have, I was just living in the world, I could never get over the hump. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's like when I started taking God serious, like, like I started seeing everything. Like, really? So I, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was like unexpected too. It don't be as soon as you pray for it. <laughs> did you not believe in God like early in your life? I ain't that I ain't believe in God. You know, my mama raised me up to like on the Christian end, like on that end. Mm -hmm. but you went I to just, church and stuff or no? Sometimes. You know <laughs> <laughs> on occasion? Occasionally, like <laughs> yeah. sometimes, but. So when did you, um, uh, when did you become Muslim? What, what year was that? Uh, 2018, 2019. And then your career is taking off? 2020. Like the way I said, like it ain't gonna happen as soon as you, at 20, <clears throat> excuse me, 2019, I feel like None will work. I'm like, damn, what I ain't doing right? Like, I ain't doing it. That's just, it's like God really I, tests your patience. Like, yeah. it really tests your patience. You got to have patience. Like, that's the key. And once I, I locked on to that, I, I found out about that, it's like, nothing can't stop me now. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't rush nothing. Like, I don't rush nothing no more. I let time do everything. God bless your kids, man. How are the other kids dealing? Are they all together or you only have three in the house? No, I got three that, that actually stay with me that's in the house. But, got it. you know, my other kids, I'm always having my kids. I'm always having my, when I get back to the house and I got free time, even if really if I don't have free time, I let them run around the house and I go in the studio. Yeah. You know? I heard I, you. I got the nanny and, and my sister, my mm -hmm. uh, my, my mama daughter, my other sister, she, um, she helped me. Cause I heard you say one time that you at the, the beginning of your, your kid's life you missed a lot because you was yeah I missed them. a lot I missed birthdays mm -hmm. I had to sacrifice a lot to get here like yeah I missed I missed a lot whole lot like the daddy daughter day like stuff she wanted me to come to I had to miss that and I was tripping about my you know my people you know what I'm saying but I'm making up for it for sure. <laughs> up for they ain't, they yeah. they real smart kids they ain't, they don't forget nothing now but yeah you know, so they got my genes but at the end of the day it's like 
I'm making up for it. The good outweigh the bad. Has anything surprised you about parent? Because it's different co-parenting and having kids have, and then having kids in the house every day. Like really, like. Has anything I surprised say, you? I yeah. say like really, like kind of like dealing with my daughter. Like you know, we, this route we going around. It's like she like the periods and all that old stuff. You know. <laughs> Uh, Who's like, helping when you would navigate that? You know, what I'm saying? I don't know nothing about it. So you're you not know, going to the store for tampons uh, and maxi know, I, I work. I, I work my sister and Ari. You know, what I'm saying they work with me on it. You know, oh, I love that. It's like mm. I don't know how to explain it. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> so you stay out <laughs> of it. Yeah, I stay out of it. You know, what I'm saying I stay out of it. You know, it's life. They, I mean, they're doing better than most of us. They got their dad in the, you know what I'm saying? We talk about daddy issues and dads not being around a lot on this podcast. It's about real life. Yeah. A lot of people come from, you know, yeah. not having that. So, you know, sure. them having you in, in their life is, it's a blessing. is really it's a, a blessing. It's a real blessing, for, for sure. For sure. All of them, for sure, just all of them. Are you close I'm with all of them? I'm active with all of them. You know, so I be having ups and downs, you know, like with a, with a, few, a couple of my baby moms. But you know how they go, like. Everybody ain't gonna be happy. Can't make everybody happy, so can't it is make what everybody it is. happy. No. Is there anything you would do different? Yeah. What? But I don't regret nothing. Mm. I don't regret, and I don't look at my kids and they no mistakes or none of that. Like I look at them like they blessings for sure. Um, but you know, for sure, like the knowledge that I got now, I'm a whole new person. I'm a whole, you know what I'm saying. So if I could have this knowledge, then a lot of stuff wouldn't happen. How old are you? Can I ask that? Yeah. Thirty. Yeah. Do you feel like this kicked you into like real, real adulting? Like real, real like. It kicked me. It it it, it did. Yeah. It put me in a. It gets real. But it, it made me feel kind of you know I don't, I don't like feeling old like. What do you mean? Make me feel old a little bit. No like, way. <laughs> Why? Cause you've been through some real, real shit. Well, I've been through real life on on yeah. mature and then like just having my kids like that, having my kids like that like man, wow. <laughs> And that's funny. <laughs> like, he said, "I don't want to feel old." You don't want to feel like that. What have you, um, what have you learned about love through all this? Because I'm, I'm, I don't know. I, I be because you said you had to be supported deeply, like during this type of grief and trauma and life change. I like, like I learned. I don't know, man. I, I just feel like it, it's, it's literally. It's how I even got the title for this mixtape. Like, it's real deal hard to love. Like, it's hard to love people. Like. Cause they don't come with just they don't come solid every time like they be disguised they ain't got good intentions all the time and it's like i feel like it's hard to love me because of what everything i've been through so it makes it worse it make it hard for me to trust like all kind of stuff like i don't know how to you feel me and i always be in my head i'm a virgo you know mm -hmm. sometimes i overthink you know what i'm saying i be in my head sometimes but i be thinking like it's for the better it's for the better too because i have came out on top thinking like that what do you mean? Oh, being protective and yeah, being, being overprotective with myself, yeah. being guard to guard. So you know what I'm saying? I done been, I done dodged a lot of situations like that. Mm -hmm. So I don't never want, I don't regret that. I don't want to take that back. Yeah, but at some point, if you go, but I be, I try to loosen on certain. Like I didn't get, I didn't get mature and, and um up there to like a word to the point. It's like when I see stuff, I be like, mm, let me try, let me see. Give but I always have a, I be 10 steps ahead of the situation to where like, if this go like this, I'm like this. So it's like, I, I ain't. So you like, never all the way committed if you're always looking at somebody with a side eye. Nah, it ain't, I <laughs> You can't all the way commit no, 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 to no, love say, if you always like, mm, let me I, see. No. <laughs> but that's why you're hard to love. Exactly. I feel like that's exactly why I'm hard to love. Mm. But it's like I don't look at everybody and everything like that. It'd be certain situations because I'd be like, especially first of all, this situation, like who I am, like today make me like that. Like you can't, who, like how you know people coming in with great motives, like good motives. Everybody ain't coming in with good motives. Everybody trying to get off, get on, get some money, get some motion going. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, like you feel me? Mm -hmm. Need they, they hands out. Yeah. You feel me? So I gotta just, I got to be like that, really. But do you feel like, because I feel like well, I'm the same way. I'm super protective. I got small circle. Yeah. But I do have faith. In sure, the, I got it, faith. You got to have faith. I have faith, but also I have faith in that I've been gifted with, um, I feel like I'm a good judge of character. Yeah. Not to say I can't make mistakes or people still can't disappoint me. For sure. But I try to, if I see mm -hmm. something that I don't like. Yeah. You know what I mean? I try to make sure the people around me. I feel like I'm, for the most part, I'm a good judge of character. For sure. You feel like no, you I are? Pick, I, you know, I know how to, yeah, I yeah, pick them. Pick them. I pick people good. Good. Because like, that helps when you. But, I, but a, a lot of times I have, a lot, I, I done messed up too, though. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I ain't perfect now. Yeah. I'd have messed up and I'd be like, dang, I beat myself. And when I go through it, I beat myself up bad about it. Well, you mean myself. when you trust somebody and they disappoint you? Or yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, well, if I let you in and you, man, you betrayed me or this happened, I'd be like, man, I beat my, I knew I shouldn't have. Mm. Yeah, I'd be like on that, on that, that vibe. That don't help nothing. <laughs> that don't help that nothing. Don't help nothing. I, you know, I get over it or whatever. But, <laughs> but you've been in a relationship now. For sure. How long you and Ari been together? Like four years. Four years? Four years. That's real. Yeah, it's real. It went, it, it went, that went fast. It went, yeah, fast. It went back fast. And I got to imagine, this is could just be me guessing. It's like when you have a relationship with somebody, it's all good and sweet. But when, when shit gets really hard, is when I'm you know. I'm still rocking now. It mm-hmm. get rocky. Yeah, stuff gets it get hard. Rocky, it get rocky. But when you go through trauma in your life or you go through a challenge like you've been through the past year. It's like it's on her. Like it be on her too. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like it don't just be on me. Like she dealing with me. She locked in with me. Mm-hmm. Um, spiritually connected, all kind of stuff. And it's like it be on her too. Like she got she be had to deal with them problems too. Like because it's on me. And she want me to be happy. If, I'm, if I ain't happy, I can't make nobody happy. And she, and she was with you. When you wasn't full custody dad, when you wasn't exactly. full time so dad, said, yeah, so yeah, she's this, been there through the transition. It's new to both of us for sure. Mm-hmm. How's that going? It's going. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> it has challenges. It's, yeah, it's challenging for sure. Um, mm-hmm. It's difficult, you know. It's difficult. Relations, relationships, um, they difficult for sure. So what keeps you? What what connected you then? What what's the thing that? I mean, I just like she more of like she my homie at the same time. She my lover. She my friend. Like. It's like we can. I could tell her anything. She gonna correct me. Like, man, that's lame good. for that. Man. It has like, to be like, trust. You have to have trust in somebody. For sure, we yeah. like we locked in to that point. Like we 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 just open with each other about everything. It's probably very helpful going through what you went through to have somebody that. Yeah, and she and she very supportive. She very supportive. She a supportive person too. Mm-hmm. Very supportive person. So you're doing okay in love. You got four years in. You made it through some tough times. Difficult times too, though. Difficult times happen. Has it been hard? Because, you know, you talk <laughs> about coming from the daddy you came from. You talk about coming from the streets and having babies in between. Of a, you know, mm-hmm. how are you doing with, like, being in a, should I say, monogamous relationship? Wait, so <laughs> like, how do you, does that take adjustment for you? No, nah, what you mean by that? It's my- because, like, um, you talk about being in and out of stuff. Yeah. And it presents, and I could be wrong and just assuming that your relationship is, like, you guys are together, right? Yeah, like, for sure. But some people have open relationships. Some people no, have we, monogamous we ain't, we ain't relationships. Got, we ain't got that going. I just, but I made mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, mm. I made uh, poor decisions. And that's why I rock with her so tough. Like, I rock with her so tough. Like, she helping me through that situation. I mean, mm. I, was just, I, I look at it like I was just being a nigga. And I, a nigga that, like, come from Memphis and my environment. That's what I was used to. I ain't, I had never been in no real relationship before. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I had never been in no real relationship to, to where like, I'm talking to her all night. I'm checking in and yo, like, babe, I'm doing this. You good? I'm finna be doing this. So you ain't gotta be thinking this or this and that. Like, it was like so new to me. That's why I was asking. Cause that's a me? big transition that's for somebody. That's a big like, transition. So yeah. Of course, you know, I, you know. You made some mistakes. I made some mistakes. You already know what I'm, mm-hmm. what I'm getting there with that. I made some mistakes. How and, does uh, she handle that? You know, she ain't take that well. She ain't take that well, but uh, it got, and, and, it, and it got crazy too. You, it get crazy. You're like, it's different. Like when you do something and then it's like, oh, you did it. Okay. And, but then it's different. Like when, when a mother, like when you have the person like call them and Aww. try to tell them everything, like, he did this and this and he was doing it. Did you know he, do, did you know this and this and that? So it, that made it even worse on her, like, but I kept it G though. I just kept it G like, yeah, you know, you know, I did that, yeah, I'm sorry, baby. You know what I'm saying? I just, I made mistakes, you know what I'm saying? That was then. Are you uh, sorry? Cause people, guys say I'm sorry. They be no, sorry. No, I really, I really they come from They be sorry they got caught. No, exactly. Mm-hmm. I really come from a pure place. You know what I'm saying? I come from a pure place when I say that, you know what I'm saying? Like. I apologize and I just want to, you know what I'm saying? I want to work through it and get through it. And she with it and she helping me with my, you know what I'm saying? Helping me work through it. That's why I rock with her so tough. Cause it's like, okay, I get it. Mm. I understand you. You know what I'm saying? I don't want, don't let it happen again. Don't let this, you feel me? Like, this ain't gonna be our life. This right? ain't gonna be our life. Don't, yeah. don't take me up through there. But I do understand, you know what I'm saying? Once I broke it all the way down to her, you know what I'm saying? When I broke it all the way down to her, she, she understood me fully, mm. you know? That's a 
That's a big transition. That's a big, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you proud of yourself to like an extent? Yeah, it, it, yeah, it, yeah. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of me. I'm proud of me. I'm getting somewhere. I'm moving. <laughs> you going in the right direction? I'm going in the right direction. You got a ride of this. Because I feel like at the end of the day, too, it's like, excuse me, like, it's like the other, they don't be having nothing to offer. Like, when it's especially when you've been with a person for four years, you see every you see how she coming, she she there for you in all kind of ways, support system, just just all across the board. And it's like you deal with a situation just on convenience, like cause it was convenient, and you right there, you on the road or something, and it just happened. Trying to look for excuses, you know, cause she ain't there or something, whatever the case was, uh, and uh, and it happened, and you just be like, man, this ain't. I'm glad. I'm glad. I just I got baby at the house. I got baby to mm -hmm. go home to, and you know what I'm saying. Just vent to and talk. You know, just mm -hmm. help me get through stuff. Is that the first time you felt like that in your life? Yeah, this is the first. This, this is a tough situation. Like relationship difficult, man. Mm -hmm. Relationship difficult. I ain't perfect. I'm human. Like people go through this now. They yeah. they 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 just don't wanna. They ain't gonna get on here with Andrew Martinez and and, and say what they did because they don't wanna face backlash or they don't wanna do that. Man, I'm 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 human. I'm not perfect. I didn't I didn't done stuff. Is like, this recent? This is um, recent. I'm probably, probably about recent. seven months ago. We healing um, right now. We we. We on the road to we moving forward. You know what I'm saying? We moving forward. We healing right now. How do you get her to trust you again? That's hard. She don't really. I don't think she 100 trust. I know she don't 100 trust mm -hmm. me. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. I I, I made that bed. Mm -hmm. I gotta lay in it. I take full accountability on my man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Before anything. So you know we working towards. I can't do number sure. Sure. Keep showing us. Show and prove. You know make what I'm saying? Safe. Make her feel safe and want it and let her know that I'm here. Like you, you, you ain't gonna get that again. Does that make you appreciate her more? Yeah, I appreciate that. I, I promise. Like it made me just get all the way together. Like man, I, I can't. I don't want to lose that. Like I don't want. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to lose this situation. This I might not get this again. No. I might not get this again. I lose this situation. Nobody else might even come like her. Like I might think I, I think I might I can find it. I'm money back. I'm gonna get something else. You know, so I'm gonna get something. Else. I'm gonna get something else, and don't even get that. I gotta imagine women watching gonna think this. They're gonna have this question for you. How does a man who lives a certain type of way for his whole life and is trying to transition into a different type of man for his woman because he wants to be in this monogamous relationship and all of that? How is that a, a real thing? Is it possible? Do you believe that for yourself? Do you believe that? What, transformation. Yeah, that type of transformation. Uh, and what is the and if you do believe in it, what is the key to it? Like, what are you learning about yourself and learning that? Well, you know what I mean. Are there any tricks? Fighting temptation. How, what do you mean? You gotta learn how to fight temptation. You gotta know how to fight. This is the hard thing to do. You know what I'm saying? That's why the situation. That's why I would find myself in this situation when it happened. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got to know how to control yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm learning. I'm big on it right now. I'm learning how to control myself and never and navigate myself in the right lane and and stay over there like look bro like that ain't gonna be good <laughs> then they might they they might be trying to they might only like or they might be trying to get off like mm -hmm. you do this they trying to get off they trying to really embarrass you know what i'm saying Shit on her mm -hmm. like so i be i be have to think for her going in certain situations like you know what i'm saying that's how i know i love her like you know what i'm saying that's how you know you love a person when you thinking for them and you you know what i'm saying when you moving and you thinking for them like you like, I can't do this, but like, man, this shit, I already see this shit, this shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then she already crazy, you know, she, she gonna go to the moon, she gonna go fed, so it's like, mm. I be trying to keep my head on straight, cause that's something I really, I really wanna do. I just, yeah. that's what I wanna do. That's beautiful, God bless. She yeah. bought you property too, right? That's huh? a keeper. Did she buy you land or property? Yeah, she bought me property. Like, that's what I'm saying, like this, you set my kids up, how can I not love you? Like. I can not, not love you. you what did that kids. feel like? Has anybody ever gifted you something like that before? Like that, that didn't gave me, I can got little gifts and stuff before, but that, no. That was like the biggest, greatest gift I ever got. Like, so what? far. And are you used to that? Like, what does that like now, how like, did that feel for you? I mean, it feel mushy, crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, uh, like, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, not trying to be just too hard. It just made me like, I was like, damn, like. Man, she really do love. It, it made it opened my eyes more. So, like, not saying that I used to question love with her, like, or did question I love. It's just period in general. Like going back to the hard, hard to love situation. Like, mm -hmm. is this really it? How we, where we going and what we going to? Like, what we doing? Like, oh, 
I be in my head a lot about yeah, that, but I, I that. And, and to myself, you know what I'm saying. But then that situation, like when she, when I got my gifts, my mama threw me a little party downtown Memphis. We I opened up all my gifts. I got my gifts. We left. We went. Uh, they just driving me. I'm. I just know I'm getting closer to my neighborhood, my hood, where I'm from. Walking homes, and we turn. We turn on Third Street. I'm like, I'm like, what are we doing? Like, what are we turning the field for? You know what I'm saying? We turn in the field when I get when I get deeper in the field. I see my name. I love you, baby. The twenty eight point eight acres and the car, big cars and the big you know balloons and just the whole vibe. You know what I'm saying? So it it took it, it it was a real touching moment for me. Like it touched me for sure because nobody like I said nobody had ever did that mm -hmm. ever did nothing like this. So I was like, damn, this might be. This might be a keeper. That she might be a keeper. <laughs> you, you might, might have put yourself together when you're in the club and somebody trying to tempt you. You might be a keeper. You might, you, that might, you might have to remember for that. that. Yeah. For that one. That's beautiful, man. So do mm -hmm. you see like marriage and all that stuff in the future for you? Or? I don't know. I don't know about all that yet. I don't mm -hmm. know about all that. You're dealing with, you're trying to, man, yeah, you know what I'm saying? One thing at a time. One thing at a time. We're going to do, we're going to do this right here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We're going to do what we're doing right here and now. Just stay focused with it. Mm. But no. I saw it because there was some uh, speculation about a ring that it was an engagement ring. Oh, yeah, I was just feeling, ring. Yeah, you read my mind. Um, I had gave her a ring. And it's just, I liked it, the ring. Like, I liked it, the ring. I wanted to see it look good on, like, that color, the white color, the diamond. It looked good on her finger. And <laughs> I got it for her. Like, it just looked <laughs> good. It looked good on her. You know? It's beautiful that you found love like that, though, especially yeah. the circumstances you come out of and mm. experiences. And I ain't no shout out to Mr. Ruggs. Shout out to Mr. Rug. You know, he throw parties in Atlanta. Yeah, that's, is he the one who hooked you? Who yeah, that's, uh, you know, Gotti reached out to him like, hey, yo, bag hit me trying to get in contact with Ari. He seen the sex. Oh, you went for her? Yeah, I went for her. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I seen the, I seen, you know, I was already on Instagram like, hey, I want that joint. You know how you see? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you, know how you, you know how you do that one? You work that one, and then it's like, what was sometimes it about? you could think you want something, and you don't even want it. Like, when yeah. you get it, man, why did I even? Yeah. But it's just this situation, like, this situation was like, boom! It was like, damn, this is what I done. wanted. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you, get, like, you get all you register, not, and you know when to tone it down. You know when to turn it off. Like, how the internet perceive her? Like, try to paint this picture of her and say she this and that. I don't even. I don't. Get them, I don't get that. Mm. I don't see that. Like, what do you think people misunderstand she, about her? Because she's so raw. Like, and the internet's so sensitive right now, mm -hmm. and the world's so sensitive right now. Like, she just too raw for that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I, I feel it. Like, do you? I don't never. I don't, I'm not at the house going crazy. Like, you, what, the, what, what you doing? What the fuck? You like? All the insecurity. I was gonna like, ask how you are. I'm not on the insecure other side with that because I know where I stand. I know who I am. You got to be confident. When yo, you you should like men should even want they they women to see how confident they is. Like mm -hmm. you got to be confident. You can't have like. But I also know it's some fucked up women out there too though. This don't just work on men. Like. Yeah. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to do that because women too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we we in a good space. I love that. We're in a great all. space. How you deal with that co-parenting situation and all of that? Because you have complicated, you both have other yeah, parents. parents. What you co -parenting. mean? Co-parenting. Like, is this, does that get complicated or do you stay out of her co-parenting? Yeah, I stay out of it. Sta yeah. I stay out of it. I let, um, I let them figure it out. You know what I'm saying? As long as they don't just get disrespectful. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't get disrespectful, you know what I'm saying, on each end. I try to stay out of it, you know what I'm saying? I stay all the way out of it. And, um, but you know how it be on the yeah. on the other tip. You got, you know, some baby mamas, they, girls different. Like, True. girls different. Some dudes be real bitter and stuff too, but yeah. females different. But I just try to keep it like, I balance it, man. I just be balancing it. The fact that y'all still standing four years after. So much. All of that is. No, that's a lot. But I ain't like that's why I said at the beginning it went that this stuff wasn't going on. This like seven months, like when I made yeah. the that, that fucked up decision. Yeah, be all right. Yeah, that's why I said we 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 seven months later. I'll put money on y'all. Yeah, bet let's go. <laughs> bet, bet it. Go, bet it up, I'll put money up. on y'all. So we got music coming, which is exciting. So you Great all this music. so all this stuff that you've been through in the you past hear it. it's all the music. You about to hear wow. it. You about to hear it on um, I'm talking on when when um it's a song called Going Through Some Things mm -hmm. on Hard to Love. Well, I'm talking about the miscarriage situation. Like I say like- This is Ari. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, with her. And I, I say, um, treat her like a wife about a big carrot. Soon as we agreed to have a child, she had a miscarriage. Deal with this shit behind closed doors. I ain't post nothing online. I kept them folks up at my business. 
whatever, whatever the, the, the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's like I was, I'm really venting, I'm opening up about, up, opening up about the situation and telling them like that situation, like her losing the baby and and all that. It like broke. It, it was kind of breaking out bun because at one point it was breaking out bun. What do you mean? You feel me? And it was because I feel like. She feel like I want third. You know how this this is it's, it's difficult. Oh, like she feel like bond. Mm. Yeah, she feel like I want third for her, like how I posed to been, but whole time I'm trying to get through my situations. I'm trying to work. I'm trying to wrap this, this album up. This all happened within this all this happened. Year. Like it was a miscarriage. I lost my baby mom. I lost my day one. My best, my left and right hand. Left my left hand to the feds. My right hand to the you know what I'm saying to the streets. I'm talking about back to back. We talking about back to back. Like within this, a year period. Within a year period, like January. That's when Nooski died. Nooski died. That was January. That's that, my brother. That was my brother. He died in January. You know what I mean? So how did he die? Well, uh, just in the streets, got killed. You know what I'm saying? Um, unexpected. The same day. This was crazy. The same day. The same day I got the call about him. I was buying a Phantom. I had just renegotiated my deal. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Interscope. Uh, renegotiated my deal, and I was buying a Phantom. You know what I'm saying? I was bound to find him, but I had just talked to him the day before that. And I was like, bro, the money and the bag in, the big bag in, man, we finna mm-hmm. do this, we finna do that. He like, oh, they don't wanna see no gangster with no money. That's the last thing I remember him saying, like, they don't wanna see me with this money. So boom, um, I was on the showroom floor. I was buying up, getting getting the getting the phantom, Rolls Royce, and they called me, I'm pulling off, I'm finna gas up. I'm pulling, I'm across the street from the where I got the car from. Pulling over the car, say, they call me, bro, they saying Nooski. Uh, Call, check on him. One answer the phone. Mama and uh, his mom, his baby mama, them just, just stamped it. You know, they stamped it. So that was a hard situation. You know what I'm saying? That was the first. Then my baby mama died three months after that. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, the smoke had got so heavy in the city. The smoke had got so heavy in the city, I had to, like, maneuver my baby mamas around. It wasn't like it was too much. A lot of stuff wasn't even on me, but I understand how the streets go, and I'm not finna explain to no nigga or nobody, like, nothing. Like, I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna move accordingly because I, I'm, you know what I'm saying? So you actually moved her out of Memphis yeah, I to moved try to them. save yeah. her from what was happening. Yeah, like, I moved all of them. Like, I moved all of them, like, look, y'all go over here, y'all come uh, do this for a minute, boom. But then she was, you know, she was in the streets with it, and she was doing what she was doing, and, um, yeah, unfortunately, that situation happened going back. You tried to do the right thing. Yeah, I did. I did. Do you have, a, like, some, I don't know, some, like, peace in that for yourself? Like, yeah, but, I, like, my mom be all, Mario, quit blaming yourself. Quit blaming yourself. That. Like, when it first happened, I was like, man, I'm all crying, going ham, and, and just like, man, it's my fault. My supposed to answer the phone for She sent me this long text, like, the day before she died, like, we need to talk, and, just real long paragraph, like this. This like it'd be crazy how people say goodbye. You get what I'm saying? Mm. She sent me a real long paragraph, and she called me like, and I was like, damn. Two days before that, you know, I was talking to her because she was telling me I'm going back to um, Memphis. I'm gonna get the kids stuff, I'm gonna get their paper, and get everything transferred over, and we finna just start over. I'm finna, I'm clean. I'm finna be right. Yeah. Fuck, man. And it just hit me. Like, every time somebody be, it do that, every time somebody try to clean their life up, just like with Nooski, like, he was like, bro, I want, I'm, I'm, I'm finna go home, come to mind. I'm finna go home, come out there with you and just get it straight, get it right. You, you know what I'm saying? And That's tough. That situation happened, too. And the same thing happened with A, uh, my brother. He in the feds right now, but it's looking real good for A. God you know bless. what I'm saying? It's looking real good for him. He look like he's coming home real soon. So that's good. You can that's use a some blessing. good news. I can lose can some, use some, some good, good news, news right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can use some good news. What do you oh, do? This pain. What do you use to balance like all that pain? Because you got to find some joy in your life, right? Like, what's making you smile these days? I saw. I know I want to be this- hard to smile. A lot of times, I act like I'm happy. Mm. Like I be acting like I'm happy because I understand I'm a role model. Uh, I got people looking up to me. I can't. You can't do that. You can't let them see that. And I ain't about looking weak. Like I said, you a Herman at the end of the day, but it's like, I can't, I can't do that. I got to set examples. I got people looking at me, so I got to stay strong. If then I got kids that, if they see me crying, what you think they gonna do? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if they see me break down, what you think they gonna do? I got to stay strong in front of them, even though it be super intense, be super hard. Do you? I be had to walk, hold up, let me go. I got to pee real quick and cry. Like, oh. And then come back and we finish the situation, finish the conversation. Like it'd be dead hard. Like, 
Do you have? Do you talk to anybody about this, or do you? How do you get it out? Uh, I tried therapy. I ain't gonna lie. I tried therapy. The lady just won. I feel like she won. She won giving it. She won giving it. She was trash. Not every therapist. No, they ain't trash. They not every therapist trash, but she won giving it. Like she, she. I couldn't. I feel like I couldn't open up to her. She didn't make me feel like me sitting right here talking to you. You would have me. Mm. You would have me. I feel like off these cameras, I really vent. Like you were really. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I really give you. Thank everything you. you know what i'm you, saying man. and she didn't give it she didn't make me feel comfortable it's like she was almost trying to be in my business yeah. because who i was and it really bagged me up yeah like, that's not that's not okay that ain't not, yeah. but you know that most people would take three or four like i had a car accident a few years ago and i was dealing with all types of ptsd weird shit yeah. and it took me like i had to go to like three therapists before i found somebody to help me be able to even drive because i couldn't even drive i get in the car my hands would start shaking like this yeah and I was like, I'm not trying to live my life like this. Somebody got to help me. Exactly. First couple therapists I went to, trash. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, for sure. But I say like that, that to you because don't just because you had one bad experience. No, nah, but I, a, I just feel like, man, I ain't even to talk. She she put a bad taste in my mouth, so it's like. Yeah, but she can't ruin it. She don't. You should. I feel like I can get through it. Like if I just like if it's somebody like if I had like if somebody like you or like or like or somebody that I just trust dearly, like I know that I ain't gonna use this. I got a big brother, bam. I vented him about everything. That's good. You know what I'm saying? That's good. I vented him about everything. My brother Tabo, he lost his baby mama. So we shared the same hurt. We shared the same pain. Like we like last week we was on the phone crying with each other because of the situation. And it's like, bro, like get out of memory. Like, I'm telling him to get out of memory. Like, bro, I won't do that. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you the house. I'm gonna get you to come, get you set up. I'm gonna put your daughter in school. Like we're gonna we're gonna figure this situation out because he having it hard with his daughter. Like adjusting to this, her mama being gone right now. So mm. it's like I can understand. I'm automatically in his shoes. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. So you built like a, um, it's almost like a support group. Yeah, you well, got to yeah, support. Yeah. Your own, you you yeah. figured out your and own. And I got support. another. I got another one of my homeboys. I grew up with his name Shard. He lost his baby mama too. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying. So it's like he was like he called me for advice. Like he lost her recently. He called me, like bro, how you deal with it? Like how you. You know what I'm saying? I got a song, Hurt Man. Like it's a song called Hurt Man. I'm speaking on it. Like, like I hit Tavo for advice. Asking, he like, man, no amount of money gonna be able to fix that. It don't matter what type of bag you get in. What kind? You gonna be happy for a minute. You gonna be happy. You gonna get through it. But you still gonna think about this. You never finna forget about this, bro. First of all, cause you got kids. Mm -hmm. You, you know gotta, what I'm saying? And you gotta carry them. Through and you it. gotta tote them. So it's like I'm getting to that point. Like getting them out of town, seeing different stuff. Mm, putting you know a smile on their putting face. Putting a smile sometimes. on their face, but mm -hmm. you know how it is. It's tough. tough. How do you do that? How do you how do you put smiles on your kids? Like what's a what's a normal day in the house like You know my I got a man I got a humbly speaking. Mm -hmm. I got a big I got a nice house, you know what I'm saying? I got a big house, so we run through the house, I'm playing with them. We jump in the pool, we I got four wheelers, I got Oh, dirt you're like bikes. a fun dad. Yeah, we 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 are. Yeah, we get active. Okay. <laughs> we get active and uh I take them, I go like I take my girls on dinner dates. Try to let them know, like, this how your man, like, when, you oh know what I'm saying? This how your God, man. Oh, my God, I love that. This how your man supposed to treat you when you get in there. Because, you know, my daughter, like I said, she's 14. I got to go and paint that picture. She might te she might text me, Dad, Daddy, can we go to the nail shop today? Why not? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's probably four minutes away from the house. You know what I'm saying? So this like, stuff like that, you have to do that. You go on, Daddy. Yeah, I take, you know, in fact, yeah, I, t I uh, took him on a date, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Bro. We ate and then my boys, you know, we do the rough stuff. What do you, you know, do? They into baseball, football, so I go to baseball games. I go to football, just supportive, you know. So even if I got, if I'm crammed with work, I still just figure out. I pause it for two, three hours and let me go do that. It ain't gonna hurt because mm -hmm. I do how I do how I do my songs and how I do my stuff. It's like it ain't gonna hurt. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. We had a, um, I did an interview a couple of weeks, a couple of episodes ago with uh, Kelly Clarkson, who, who had been through a bad divorce and stuff, and she was talking about how she, she lets her kids know, because everybody's different about this with their kids. Yeah. She lets her kids know when she's going through something. Mm hmm Are you that uh, type? Of, she's like, yeah. She's uh, like, see, I don't. That's, that's, what, that's, that's what I'm doing like right now, and it was like, I ain't like. Uh, what do you mean? <sighs> like having this conversation? No, no. Okay, I'm straight enough for this. Like, uh -huh. all right, so. It's like I'm just cranking it up. Like I'm just getting into the mode to like really like getting into their life because it was almost over fear. Like I was more fear. Like, and I say that because like 
they was like my three kids, they were with their mama all the time. And it just all kind of stuff. So I was almost scared to almost know certain stuff because how I might react or how I might take it if I'm making sense to you. Um, mm-hmm. And it's like my daughter, you know, she, like Taraya, she'll be like, oh, man, it's crazy. I'll be like, what? Like, just talking about her mama, talking about the mama situation. Like, I just miss how she used to love me, blah, blah, blah. Jay. She went to a point where she was like, like saying she wanted something to happen to her. Mm-hmm. I had to get it. I had, like, she's 10. Like, mm-hmm. you see what I'm saying? So I had to, like, we, and this, this talk right there is so fresh. This, you talking about, like, before I got on the flight and came like out this, here and oh, came to New York, just we just had that talk. Oof. She was just, like, it was real emotional. You know what I'm saying? How do you handle that? Like, it was tough. It was a, it was a real tough situation. So that's why I be I be kind of scared. Like I be kind of scared on stuff like that. But I but I got to be. I'm daddy. I got to be. You know, I'm the man. So I got to do that. The fact that your kids talk to you the way they do says a lot about the type of parent you are. No, for sure. You know they, what I mean? they they get to open up. But my little girl, my um, my oldest girl, she um she's just getting into that. Like my other ones, they so vocal. It'd be scary. The younger, the younger ones, they like. <laughs> Super vocal, way vocal than her. Like she quiet and to herself, and mm-hmm. you have to get it out of her, push it out of her. Or she might go vent to a woman because I probably can't answer certain questions. And she used to her mama too. Like they were like best friend. That's why she taking it so hard. She take it so hard too. So it's like she was on. Um, it's like she don't she don't talk too much, but I'm get I'm edging, mm-hmm. I'm getting it in there. And then you know, I, like I told you, I got my brother. He lost his daughter, lost her mama too. So he's telling me how to. Oh, you know he's helping saying? you manage. He's helping me how to like start conversations with her and get that going. Yeah. One day at a time. Yeah, for sure. And you have prayer too, right? Like you pray. Yeah, I pray often. hard and mm-hmm. and I really be seeing like I don't know about the other people and whoever else just claim they into their life. Um, I really see what I pray for because I really like sacrifice like for God. I like, sacrifice. I put all my faith in God and I really sacrifice for God. You like see what, what I'm saying? Like. Like just what I like, like when we were saying like Ramadan. Ramadans was last was last month, mm-hmm. and I'm still going. You still doing Ramadan now? You no, know I'm saying I'm still, yeah. I'm still fasting, but I'm doing it like I'm doing it. At, you know how I'm doing it. And it's just like I get my prayers get answered. God opened my eyes. I see everything clear. I swear to God, I see everything clear. It's like everything clear now. Mm. And it's like I'm I'm almost like this is how I'm finna live. Like that's exactly how I might take two weeks off from not fasting, but you might I feel have, like this. I don't know health health wise if that's has any. You probably should make sure that that's. That's why okay. I said make sure that it's okay to yeah. really just live like that every single day. But uh, that's why I say I don't like. I might take two weeks a month off and then yeah. get right back to it. But it's like it's like when I'm when I'm in that world, like when I'm eating and I'm doing drugs and other stuff like that. It's like you blind. Yeah, but it's it, the the uh, fasting is good because I, I get it. I used to fast too. It's like good with discipline, and especially when you it's for spiritual reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can lock in with God without having a fast. Exactly. You know what yeah, I'm saying? You can lock in. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. In. You can lock. No, nah, for sure. Yeah. I, it, it didn't happen before. Yeah. I locked in with him um, many yeah. times, a lot of times without fasting. It's got you here. It's amazing. I, I don't got know. Got me here like I'm gonna be honest. Honest. I, I didn't got through some I don't sticky know. situations. I, I don't know got how you're here. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I done got through some sticky situations and a lot of people be like, bro, you is Brian. like the like the people that's like the guys that's beside me, mm-hmm. they be like, bro, you I ain't never seen nobody strong as you. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. It's like they say they say they never seen nobody strong as me. Like mm-hmm. real talk, like, bro, we can't tell you going through stuff. Like you when see you're what outside, I'm saying? Like I, I, I be dead great I be that good at like just being a role model and just covering it up. Like, man, these folks look up to me. I can't let these folks. I got artists. Like, these folks sign to me. I can't let them see me like this. Like, mm-hmm. they can't see me like this. So, of course, they're, that's what the shower for. That's what the bathroom for. That's what the sauna <laughs> that's for. That's your go to. When you go to the you gym, you're sweating shower, already. So, like, cry. I'll be right you know what back. Saying? You know what I'm saying? It's a tear in the way. <laughs> just for, you know you, just so, for your team, if the, if you ever go to the bathroom and you're in there too long, somebody. They finna know somebody that. Somebody should I, check I on just, you. I just broke the ice. I confess. Check on bags. Y'all, somebody check y'all on Y'all got me. Y'all got me. At least I ain't doing nothing else when I go in there, motherfucker. Thank God. Because you know people, people, people go to people vices. Go to, people go to drugs. Yeah, exactly. People they go run to, to drugs in the bathroom. I ain't liquor. doing that. You know what I'm saying? You said that in one of the songs. Because I got a little. T- they sent me a sample of the mixtape. Yeah. You, you said that in one of the songs about. Um, Fentanyl and drugs and, and oh yeah, fentanyl like fentanyl on the street like that's what's going on. How did you start that song? It was I can't remember right the second, but uh, it was something about. I said uh, what I say uh ah what is it more? Uh, I get nauseous. 
you don't I ain't take taking these drugs. I, I get ain't nauseous. taking these drugs. I get, I get nauseous. More, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you're not taking no drugs right now because you. No, for, no, for sure. One yeah. million percent. I'm, I'm clean. Yeah. But you know, I have. I can talk about it because I've done it and I do it. You know what I'm saying? Occasionally, but I ain't doing no like no crazy drugs. We doing the norm, like drink, weed. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that might pop a perk here and there. I'm honest. Oh my god. Um, get the hanks off. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing to throw me. Ain't nothing to throw me off. <laughs> IRL does not support or condone. Yeah, no, nah, facts, facts. Stay away from Illegal use of Percocets for any reason. There to be different. I, we don't need you tapping into vices because when you go through trauma and grief and all that type of stuff. But it do, it puts you in on this song, More Sick on Speaking. It's like the outro. That's the last song. I'm saying stuff like at the end, I'm talking like I'm telling them why did I, I, it took me two years to not put out music, why it took that long and and what I was doing, running to, sometimes when you're going through a lot of stuff, you run to drugs like weed, pills, and drink, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm taking this, thinking it's gonna cure me, cause it's supposed to be medicine, quote unquote medicine, and it's making me more sick. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's how I even came up with their whole title. It's and very everything. easy to slip into an addiction. When I you, swear to God. When you got undealt with And trauma. then the withdrawals is terrible, yeah. doing dealing with that. I done been through all that. Cause I like when I first came in, that's what made me get my, my, my physique together and just try to stay in the gym and try to stay focused. Uh just being on the stage, being full of drink before I go perform, just a fat slob and just stomach. I got a video I can show you. You probably wouldn't even believe that's me. Wow. And it's just like I overcame that situation. Yo, what is this motivation? Like where do you get that from? What is that? It's really like I said, it's, it's a discipline thing and it's just prayer and it's just me. I just know what I wanna be. I look at certain things. Like the workout stuff, I'd be like I'd be on Instagram, you know, the reels come through. I look at the reels and I see man got their stuff together, they got their I don't I'm gonna get my You know what I'm saying? Sometimes <laughs> I have to look at that and Shit, I'm finna get mine together. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Get you some discipline. And some... Give me some discipline to get my stuff together. Then I'm yeah. finna go on tour. You don't want to look weak on them pictures. And you don't want to look, you want to look good. You want to, you know what, what I'm saying? You want to look like you who you supposed to be. What do you see for yourself? Like, what is the, like, what, what is the thing looking for? I'm finna for? get right. They finna see me. I got the tour coming up. I don't just mean physically. Oh, okay. I mean your whole life, like your, with your kids, you just you as a man, your businessman, artist, to... a dad, a, a, a partner, and yeah. like, where do you see? I don't know, five, ten years. Like, what do you, what do you see uh, for five, yourself? Ten years, like, what are you working towards? I'm working to. I'm just. I'm continually um, carving my legacy, mm. and um, and just, you know, changing the narrative, changing the narrative on from somebody coming from. Memphis, you coming from just the gutter part of Memphis. I was just another thug. He's face, his face tatted up. He tattoos everywhere. He looked too gangster. He, he looks, he look like a monster. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying, I'm changing it up. You know what I'm saying? I'm changing that whole narrative. Like, oh, the restaurant, Cache 42. You know what I'm saying? Um, the 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 land. Did you feel like part. that? Like people looked at you like a monster at some point? I, like I hear that through people. I'd be like, bro, you mean? Like they'd be like, you okay. like you you mug all the time. You just straight face mafia. You. you Poker face. Scare, you scare people. I scare people, and then it's just like right now, this with this whole rollout and everything I'm doing right now, it's just like I ain't letting you all the way in because you never can get them everything. You can't do that. I don't advise nobody that's watching this to do that, but you have to open up. You have to open up and let them know, like, you human too. Like, I go through what you, I'm you. I go through what you go through at a higher level, on a, on a bigger scale. Yeah. On a bigger scale in my life, like on the you know, on the microscope, and it's it's way different. Like, mm -hmm. so the stuff that somebody normal, or regular might do, or average Joe, he ain't gonna get the the backlash or anything I'ma get. Mm -hmm. So you gotta like learn how to clean up your act and get right. You pushing through though, like it, you need an award. He <laughs> won. You don't get no real like, nigga award. They don't get no real nigga awards. <laughs> that's out. what you need. I need a real nigga award. <laughs> you should start that award ceremony. That'll be hard. How do I start it? Help me. First of all, get it. Help me up. Okay. Let's first of it. all, get it. Um, copyright. Like, get a get a stamp real on that. Real nigga award. Just give me a small piece because I feel like this is somewhat my idea. Okay, for sure. But two, you can two, do five percent. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I, I trust you. No, I trust sure. you to be fair. For sure. You start the award and then you pick them. There's <laughs> something sure. to this. Yeah. You could let Ari come out and she could be like the hostess. Yeah, exactly, and, that'd be you know hard. What I'm saying? <laughs> this would TV be show, that'd be hard. That's a great idea. Thanks. You could put it on YouTube once a, it could be on any platform you want. Mm -hmm. Once a year, 
You do this award ceremony. Exactly. <laughs> you get Gotti involved. You know? I got the, you know, I got the relationship now, the resources. I can, I can pull it off. I love this for you. Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> I love this for you. Pull it off, man. <laughs> how much, how much of that gets you excited, like business and ideas and? I stay like God will tell you that anybody that's around me, they'll be like, bro, you super creative. Like all my videos, mm -hmm. I do that. Like I come up with them treatments. I come up with these ideas. Mm -hmm. um, how you finna see stuff going now with these videos and everything I'm using right now is like my ideas. Like mm -hmm. I read them, I'm all the way in it. I'm on the front line by mine. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't about, just sit down and wait for somebody to do something for me. What about connecting with Gotti? Was this something, cause I imagine he's similar. Like he's clearly- So and, and Gotti most definitely, uh, he give me great ideas too. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't wanna take all the full credit, uh, mm -hmm. credit, but uh, he give me a lot of great ideas. And even if I I bring it to him, he'll twist it and be like, how about we do it like this, this and that. And like, and you, and it's just a great thing with God. It's just a great relationship. He just always was in my corner at the end of the day. He always in my best interest. And some people like, a lot of people don't even get this far. Like we didn't get far, like we didn't, with this this whole journey, our journey, we didn't came far from 2017. Mm -hmm. We didn't we didn't get far, and I just say because I'm not in competition with God. God is not in competition with me. He's not trying to hold me back. He want to see me bigger. You know what I'm saying? He want to see me bigger than him, damn near. So it's like, you feel what I'm saying? It's like, and that's where people bump heads a lot when you see CEOs yeah. and artists falling out and they mad about this. It's because. Somebody's in competition. Or ego. Yeah, egos. Yeah. But gotta lay it out to like, bro, I'm with you right or wrong. So however you I'ma lay it out to you like this. If was you wanna it, go your way, hey. Was it hard for you to trust him? Trust the process? Yeah, because you like because coming. Even from just the, trust and trust Coming people from the streets, like you hear stuff like that what made me want to take the chance too. Coming from the streets, you hear stuff like, Man, don't sign with God. It. Don't sign with God, it, bro. You can man, you're gonna be bigger than that. Don't do that and don't he he what about this artist? What about Snooty? What about these other man that man like that is not it, man. That ain't that ain't true. None of that ain't even true. You feel me? You control your future. Mm -hmm. Like literally, like you control your future. And I'm in the world saying it right now. I literally like he 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 put it he put it to you like that. You can do it or you can go by this. However you might think, go. Just do it. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So Was there any pressure in the past two years for you to like get back to work? Yeah, most definitely. Like he mm -hmm. and he was like he was, it like that's why I said that letter was more than, that letter was more than just to my fans. It was people that was like in my corner. They they was lost, at, at one point they was lost. Like God, it like he was like bro, what's you ain't never took this long. Mm. You ain't never like what's going on. Talk like talk to me like. But don't did they know what was going now on? No, they yet? knew what was going on. But they but I told you I do so much of a great job. Mm -hmm. Covering it up, they ain't even know it was affecting me. How it's affecting me, like, you feel me? I do good at covering it up. You That's feel? That's why me? they say check on your strong friends. Check on your people. You feel me? So, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I love that partnership. It's nice to see that in hip hop. Great partnership. Too. I love it. You know what I mean? So I have questions that I ask everybody on every episode of this. And the first question I ask, and I'm almost scared to ask you this question, especially as much as I I'm gonna be raw. No, it's not raw. It's very simple. It's like okay. a super basic question. I asked, they asked me, by the way, I was having a really bad day today. Yeah. And, and my team knows this. Shout out to Evan, who's doing the, the, the pictures. What's up, Hi, Ev. Ev. What's up, Ev? Ev, when I walked in, he was like, how happy are you on a scale of one to 10? <laughs> I was like, I'm a three, Ev. Wow. I was a three when I walked in. I was having a bad day today. You were? And I had me a little oh, cocktail. Oh, yeah, because the situation you explained. No, nah, that was camera. a whole bunch of shit. It was just a weird day. Okay, weird day. I feel good. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And, yeah. and I, I like. Yeah. This conversation, I feel, I don't know, I feel like I'm being used in some type of good way, <laughs> yeah, in a good exactly, way, you exactly, know what I'm exactly. saying? So that picks me up to, I would say right now, I'm um, seven, between six and seven right now. Okay. I would say I'm no, at a six and a seven. Right. You're doing good. That's good, You're right? You're improving. You're improving. So on a scale of one to ten, how happy are you right now? Right now? Mm -hmm. mm, just the whole environment. I say eight. Really? I say eight. Oh, I love that. I say eight. This morning. Two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, two, I woke up. That's why I was just telling them. I was like, well, I've been up all night. So that's, that's the reason, too. Why were you up all night? Just I, just how I be living. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, boom. And then I just got in emotions, got in traffic, got going. I was like, you know what? I feel good. I'm going to let that. everything out. I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> does it, it feel man. better to let everything out? Or does, is it, on the is way, it like, weird for you to be sharing so much? Like, No, I feel like I feel like they need to. I, feel, I owe my fans that. 
Mm. I feel like I owe my fans and my the listeners, the viewers, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I owe them. Mm -hmm. I owe them that to say something. Like, shit, I've been gone two years. Yeah. Two years without doing nothing. Like, no interviews, no, I ain't did nothing in two years. I believe that, um, and this is one of the reasons I even created this podcast, I believe that us telling our stories and sharing it, what we're willing to. Like you said, you yeah, don't got to, sure. you know, you keep Facts. whatever you keep. Um, but I think, it, I think it helps other people who are in situations. Yeah, they get through, because I'm, like I said, a role model position. Mm -hmm. People look at this and be like, bad going, you were going through this, bro? Oh, man, I'm finna spunk. Yeah. Motivation. So, so what is the thing? Because when I look at your life and I think about this past year of like trauma and grief, really. Um, yeah. Like somebody who's maybe going through that right now, who's in the trenches of that. Like what What do you think is the one thing that that uh, has lifted you up or helped you get through it? Oh, uh, like I said, like I, I really don't like, I really had to just give all that to God, really. Mm -hmm. Is he the reason? Just praying and just getting through it. Mm -hmm. Just praying and just, just staying focused and like, and he making you, you don't even know you getting stronger at that. You don't, you don't even know you finna turn out like this, but you finally wake up in one day and like, man, it's go time. Mm. Like, it's go time. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm, I'm I'm in that upcoming artist mode. I'm doing everything. Oh, you a new artist out here? I'm a new artist out here. I want y'all to look at me, money bag, yo, like he's a new artist mm -hmm. right here. You know what I'm saying? Don't hold me nothing to the, the old <laughs> back. You know what I'm saying? So we dropping this mixtape and then yeah. is there another, is there more? Is it like an album? Are you in? No, this is a mixtape. That's why I say I'm in mixtape mode. Okay. Oh, I'm back freestyling. I'm back just venting. I'm back letting it out, letting the world in. Um, in real life, how important is money to you? Uh, money is money bag, yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, money is important because I mean, you need it to survive. You know what I'm saying? Survival skills. You got, you need money to survive. But I don't do everything for money. Like you don't supposed to do everything for money. All money ain't good money. You have to know the difference. You have to know how to maneuver through there. You got to know how to see that and spot that. Like, hold up. And when you hear it, not even if like it's it's in visual. Like you you got to know how to hear it and be like, no, I ain't doing that. How do you know? You know that? how much crazy stuff. I don't even. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna speak on that. Like I ain't gonna get deep into it. Uh, you know how much crazy stuff people offer me to do for money. I'm not doing that. Mm. I'm not doing that because I know who I am. What's the right? line then? How do you know? Like, because it's automatic, like, that's not who I am. I'm not feeling like, why would I do that? I don't, it, make it make sense. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, make it some make people it make lose, sense. Some people, some people lose, lose, like, man, I can get themselves. this for this amount of dollar and X amount of dollars and da da da. I'm finna go, man, you got me fucked up. I'm finna, man, you can't move like that. It's goofy. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's goofy. <laughs> that's a goofy move. <laughs> for sure. You, you, you showing me who you is. Mm. You know what I mean? In real life, if today was, if this was it, Today was the last day. What would oh, you What would you be that's doing? A, that's crazy. You said where Where would I In go? In real life, if today was the last day, like where would I go? Yes. What would you do? Or how would you spend it? What? I most definitely won't be here doing this interview, but <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. I won't be offended. No, for sure. Uh, but <laughs> well, you uh, might because you want you might want your legacy. You might want people to know your yeah, whole story. If I could, matter of fact, I'm glad you said that. I will be doing this interview with all my kids in here. Mm. I'll do this interview with all my kids sitting behind me right here, let them, you know what I'm saying, chime in, jump jump in, you know, <laughs> you feel me? I love me? that. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I really spend it. What would they say about you? They they love me. Like, they overly love their daddy, you know what I'm saying? I never tell them no unless it's about your grades or they or your mama called me and you done something. I got to discipline you. I can't make you think it's sweet, like, mm -hmm. like I'm sweet, like it's easy. Mm -hmm. So just... Uh, part of being a uh, part of being about being a father. I'm sorry, and it's like I love them. They love me. Mm. It is what it is. That's the best thing in the world. Like yeah, if that alone is your legacy. Yeah, that your kids just adore you for sure. What's the it best? make me feel good? Like when I come in, huh, like they jump up, like be dead type. It ain't no fake. You no cap, man. You no cap. They be just oh, daddy, Roman. Too. Like it'd be yeah. like it's crazy. Like I'd be like, damn, that's somebody love me. That's a different type of love. Somebody love me for sure. In real life, what do you like most about yourself? Uh, I kind of like that I be I play defense. I kind of like I play defense all the time, um, uh, because I don't just like. I don't, first of all, I don't believe in just starting nothing, and then I'm glad like I'm an observer, like I'm an observer, and I'm happy I listen. Mm. I love all that about me. Like I listen, I'm observer. I know how to take constructive criticism. Um, yeah, basically. What was the last constructive criticism you got that was good? Uh, last constructive criticism, 
I had lit. I lit R here song. I was trying some. I was in my singing bag. <laughs> she was like, I, yeah, nah. She like, no. <laughs> she like, yeah, no. Like, literally, like, maybe if you go a little soft or you do it, like, but no. coaching me, but no. But you going too high, you going too. And you, you take know, it okay. But I, and then this one song on her she love right now, it's called No Show. <laughs> I'm, like, you can hear that on her. Like, you can hear, like, I go up. I go up on it and it's like, but it's not too high. It's like earth friendly. Mm. And she's like, okay, that's the pocket. Mm. I mean, Do you trust her opinion? Like, no, nah, for sure, because she mm. love music. Like, I trust, she love music for sure. So if she, she likes music, it, you know, it's, it's yeah, good. she she like, this ain't what the, the females ain't finna turn up to this. I ain't finna do this. I ain't gonna do that. She gonna keep me tight. <laughs> <laughs> this is my last one. In real life, what do you hope people learn from your life? Um, uh, Kind of what you said, kind of what you said, like, like you can you can cover it up out of that, but it's okay to cry, it's okay to be, you know what I'm saying, who you is, it's okay to be no, a human, like a normal person, you know what I'm saying, you just, you got to know how to cope with certain situations, uh, you know, got to know how to deal, you got to know who to vent to, you know what I'm saying, got to be real careful with that, um, and just, if you got a career, I'm sorry, a career, if you got stuff, you know, I'm country, I talk, I'm real country. I know. You know what I'm the saying? The way you say human is yeah. crazy. <laughs> like, you know, I'm country. I'm I country, so it. I might trip over words trying to get right. Nah, you but, did uh, great. You're great. Uh, so, like, you got that going on, if you got something going on for yourself, I just say, like, you just force it on them. Like, you just stay motivated and just force it on them. Stay hustling. No matter what, don't never let, just keep, I pray for tunnel vision. And I don't want to see nothing on the side of me. I want God to keep me like this, like, because you know they're going to do this. I want to stay like this the whole entire time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Going to the end goal. And that's a hard that's a hard task, man. Yeah. It's a hard task because somebody says the wrong stuff, you, you, you're going to turn over there, you're gonna, but it might cost you. Mm -hmm. So you got to think like that. Like, it might cost me if I do that. So you pray for tunnel vision. I pray for tunnel vision. Pray for confidence. I pray for more and more awareness. You know what I'm saying? Awareness to, you know, and I ask God to reveal stuff to me. Like, I want to see, I want to see it. Like, don't hide it from me. I got to be able to take this. Like, I already, I took pain. I already, I'm dealing with it. You you tell him, you showing me I'm strong. You know what I'm saying? So I know, you know. Mm. You feel me? You are. Thanks. <laughs> Check on your strong friends, people. <laughs> That's one thing I learned from you today. Yeah. I don't know how you doing this. I'll be honest. I don't know how you just like. Yeah. You seem so good and so like. Yeah, I'm in a good mood today. You're in a good mood. I love I'm that. I'm in a good mood, I'm I in love a great that. mood today. God bless you, man. Thank, Thank you, you for sharing your story today. For sure. I can't wait to hear all the music. Let's go hard to love. Money bag yo in real life, man. Real life. The realest, by the, the realest. way. <laughs>